We're joined on the phone today by Bettina Bush, voice actress. You might remember her as the voice of Rainbow Bright back in the day. She was also on a lot of other shows, The Littles, My Little Pony, Rugrats, and uh, she's now in charge of Working Mother Radio. Hey, Bettina, how you doing today? I'm great, thank you. Excellent. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Oh, absolutely. It's nice to meet you. Thanks for inviting me. <laughs> well, first, I wanted to ask you, um, you know, what you're up to these days. It seems like you were super busy as a child, and, and you've uh, kind of stayed that way uh, through <laughs> your whole life here. And uh, First, I wanted to ask you a bit about working Mother Radio and, and how all that came about. Yeah, I have um, no other mode but busy mode. I really don't know how else to be. <laughs> I, think, <laughs> I think when you grow up a working child and you're juggling school and work all the time and friendships and everything, that, that just becomes like a way of life. So when I decided to um, have kids, it, it just seemed like a natural transition to go into um, into use, utilizing my voiceover skills to talk about that experience and being a mom and and having kids. So when I first had them, I was approached by a friend of mine who um, runs a, a syndicated radio uh, shows, and he asked me if I would be interested in hosting Parenting Magazine Live. And I said, of course I would. I think that, that sounds amazing. I was actually sitting next to a pile of Parenting Magazines and Working Mother Magazines, and you know, and, and I was you know voraciously learning everything that I could about the subject matter. Um, so we we went ahead and, and uh, partnered with that magazine and launched that radio show. And then um, when Parenting Magazine sold, we uh, we kind of you know sat for a moment and said, okay, well, what do we think we want to do next? And then we were immediately approached by Working Mother, um, and they said, you know, what we'd really like to do is make you the editor at large of the magazine and have you host our radio show and also represent us in the media and go on you know, the Today Show and um, Hallmark's Home and Family and, and talk about the things that matter to working moms. And, um, and then they also asked me if I would um, start to um, create videos for them um, on the same subject matter. So, of course, you know, I was all about it and very excited to do so. And so we launched um, my production company, um, CNJ Unlimited and CJ Monarch, and we ventured out to to do all these things. And so my business partner and I um, with CJ Monarch produced a, a, a whole bunch of video series, one of which is the motherhood corner. And you can find that on workingmother.com. And you can also find it on um, our new Roku, Roku channel that we launched called fam NATO. Um, and fam NATO is just getting started. We've barely, we haven't even actually officially launched it. We've just done a soft launch. We're in beta testing right now, but we are looking to actually add on a bunch of other content by, um, by mom creators. And I, I have, a great many that I have identified and um, and I'm looking to work with, and I think it's going to be a really special place for families to be able to go and watch um, not only um, shows and content on parenting, but also shows and content that kid that you can watch with your kids, so you can have fun with your kids watching. And everything is you know safe and family friendly, and you never have to worry about you know having to cover anybody's ears or eyes or anything being inappropriate. So we're really looking forward to um, to that as well. So yeah, we're keeping busy around here. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, it's um, definitely very passionate about um, motherhood and parenting. What is it that made you decide to, to focus on that area? Did it have to do with your um, your upbringing or was it the fact that you had a career before motherhood or how did that all come about? You know, my life has always been kind of a seamless evolution from one thing to the next. I kind of feel like I just kind of I'm sitting in a boat and I'm being steered by a river and I just have faith that it's going to take me to the right places. And it's never really, that faith has never really let me down. Um, you know, when I, I started working so young doing, you know, voiceovers and, and, and singing for children's and family entertainment, you know, doing Rainbow Bright and Lucy Little and, you know, My Little Pony and the Rugrats and all of these shows that, that, you know, I, to this day, I, I have a box sitting in front of me right now, actually, that someone sent to me rainbow bright memorabilia that they asked me to sign and they wrote the sweetest letter to me and you know there are just so many there's so many kids that grew up loving these these characters and these shows and you know to have been lucky enough to be a part of that and and to be able to you know sing these songs on these albums that they would listen to when they were sad and would you know lift them up that's just something that you never really want to stop doing you know it's it's very and it just inspires you to keep going. And so, you know, and I, and I love my first home is the studio. I love being behind a microphone. I love you know, being in front of a camera. I just, I really love creating and, you know, and using my voice to, to hopefully bring some positivity to people. 
So, um, so you know, as my career has kind of evolved, when um, when I when I got pregnant with Kathy, I had just had two songs on the charts that were you know family friendly songs, and and um, and you know, and my whole career has been in family entertainment. And so, you know, when I realized, okay, well, I want to not be quite as driven, I want to not be quite as away from the household as much, it just made sense to, to lend my voice to the conversation about parenting. And I saw a lot of, when I was pregnant, I saw a lot of um, moms and groups and discussions on, on the internet that weren't necessarily um, positive. They weren't necessarily, um, there, there, were, there were kind of people taking sides, you know, one against the other, rather than, you know, we're all in this together kind of mentality. You know, there are different ways to parent, and there's different ways to view motherhood, and there are different belief systems, and that's all great. That diversity is what makes us all great. And so, for us to be able to share ideas and feel like we're not going to get attacked for them is really important. And I wanted to make sure that there was a space for that. You know, I see it as you know, you interview the experts and you get all the different points of view so that moms are informed and they can make their own decision on what's best for their family because there's no one size fits all. There's no one specific type of human being. You know, you have to parent to the soul that you've been given. And so, you know, you need to have all of the info to be able to do that properly and, and know your child and know your family, know your household. You know, some moms are single moms, some moms are married moms, you know, and there's no... There shouldn't be any judgment. There should just be, you know, we're all trying to raise the best, kindest generation possible. How do we do that? So, um, so yeah, I think I just have always tried to utilize the skills and the experience that I've been given in my career to further whatever positive influence I can have on the people who are, you know, interested in listening. Excellent. Yeah, and, and that experience, as we mentioned, started uh, real young for you. You know, you and I are uh, roughly the same age, but you were on some big cartoons that I remember of course I was watching them as a kid uh, you know you mentioned the littles and my little pony and the get along gang you were all over Saturday mornings back then <laughs> I was I was and it was so much fun and I, I you know it's funny because people talk about working actors and you know oh did you lose your childhood and I had the greatest childhood ever I loved every minute of doing all of those cartoons and all of the children's records and all of that stuff. It was, I got to work with icons in the voiceover business. I got to work with amazing animation executives who were just, you know, on the cutting edge of what was, what was happening. And, and it was, it was just a really fun time and it always continued to be, I never stopped, you know, it it always has been, you know, a lot of fun. You know, I got to, as I, as I became an adult, I was working on the Rugrats and then, um, and then just, you know, in the 2000s, I've been, you know, the voice match for um, Jada Pinkett Smith on Madagascar. So Gloria the Hippo, you know, I, was, I actually just got a call the other day to do something else for Gloria the Hippo. And it's just, it's really, it, and the McDonald's campaign, the ba da ba 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 I'm loving it. You know, I did more than a hundred of those commercials and it's just, it's a fun, fun job. And it's, and it's not just a job. It's, you know, it's a fun way to spend your time. It's a great, it's a great, you know, one of those where people say, you know, it's a nice gig if you can get it. And I was lucky enough to be blessed as a child to get it and just never, you know, never have an end. So I'm, I'm really, I'm really fortunate. And I really love, love, love all of the people who still reach out to me from, you know, all the kids of the 80s who, you know, and, and 90s who love these characters and find me. And, you know, it happens so often. It blows my mind how many people reach out and say, hey, you know, I just wanted to tell you that the only thing that got me through the hard times when I was a kid is Rainbow Bright. And, and you know, and I, to find you and know that you're still out there and you're still trying to do something positive really, you know, makes me happy. You know, that's like, that's huge to me. That means everything to me. Yeah, that's awesome. And I know still today uh, with Rainbow Bright, especially, you still see kids, you know, wearing uh, shirts and stuff. And, you know, back then yeah. you had the, the Rainbow Bright movie and the records. Uh, you even had a breakfast <laughs> cereal. I mean, as a young yeah. kid, did you realize how successful things were at that time? Or was it just kind of uh, your normal, you know, everyday job as a kid? Oh, I had no idea. No idea. And I came from a family that was very much about humility and you're not a big deal and you know you're you're just you're just you and you're you God gave you gifts and it's your job to share them and so that's what you're doing and that's that it was not about it was not about you know ego or about you know I'm so cool or you know that that I you know I'm successful or any of that it was just very much oh this is my life and this is what I do and you know and now I'm going to go play with my friends and go swimming and you know be with my siblings and it was never I never realized um just you know, just what an impact it was all having. And it's 
super cool to be an adult and look back on that and be like, yeah, much respect to my parents because (laughs) I knew a lot of kids who, who weren't in that same parental position who were working actors and, you know, it was was harder for them. You know, there's a, they, I think it put a lot of pressure on them when, when the acknowledgement of their success was there and so important to the family and it, it wasn't important at all to mine. My, I was not a big deal. Well, Bettina, uh, you mentioned the records, the Rainbow Bright records. To me, that almost seems cooler than being on TV, like having your voice and singing on these records. That had to be great for you, um, you know, coming from a a musical background. (laughs) Absolutely. No, it was, I mean, it it couldn't be better. And, you know, what's what's so cute is that my daughter loves to sing. And um, for her school talent show, she sang um, Make Room for a Rainbow Inside from um from that paint a rainbow in your heart uh rainbow bright album and uh, because i would sing it to her at night to put her to sleep my kids know all the songs because i would sing them to them um as lullabies and it, you know it's like it's so much fun to pass that on to another generation and all the moms know you know rainbow bright and they're like oh my god we know that song and you know it's, it's so much fun to, to be able to include my kids in a part as a part of that too um but yeah it was it was really special and um and i'm super grateful for it and i you know and i just love i love knowing that it wasn't just special to me it was special to a a, you know whole generation of kids and you had a a music career outside of the the children's records and had some success there is there anything you're working on music wise these days or anything else maybe coming up i did thank you so much um yeah, I, I'm working actually with my kids on um, some children's music. And, you know, I, I did do the pop music route for a while, and I had, you know, two successful songs, um, and it was a lot of fun, and I really enjoyed it. But it did take me away from, from my family a lot, from, you know, did, you have to tour and all of that stuff, which was wonderful, you know, before being a mom. But now that I'm a mom, I, I'm, you know, more interested in doing things that, you know, maybe can keep me um, closer to home. So I really love the idea of doing um, children's music and um, also maybe lending some of my songs to to TV shows. You know, like um, I recently had a conversation with the Hallmark Channel about um, some, some music that I have. And, you know, so kind of going down that road and seeing where that takes me. Yeah, that's great that you're able to balance um, your busy career, but still, you know, be there for your kids and, uh, you know, kind of incorporate them into what you're doing and, and obviously keep them grounded as you were as a kid. I think that's great. Thank you. You know, it's, it's, it's fun because they are, they're very much, um, it, it, you don't have to direct kids to know what their passions are. They know what they are and they come here knowing them. And my kids love to perform as much as I did. And so trying to help foster that in them and assist them with that, you know, without, uh, but having it be, you know, more of a, a family affair makes it, you know, even more fun because we can all do it together. And, you know, like during the pandemic, everybody had so much downtime and, and you know, so much together time. So, you know, we spent time, you know, learning songs and singing and learning how to harmonize and, you know, doing some fun stuff. And, and, and they started writing scripts and things, you know, a lot of really cool stuff. And so they, you know, they have their own ideas of, of what it's going to look like for them. So I'm also here to help them facilitate that. Awesome. Well, again, uh, we mentioned Working Mother Radio and Motherhood Corner, and, you know, you're always uh, busy with something. Is there anything else coming up maybe we should be looking out for? Um, Yeah, definitely. Check out Sam Nato on Roku. It's our new Roku channel. And um, if you don't follow me on um, Instagram, it's been dormant for just a minute, but it's about to fire back up and be really live. So um, follow Bettina Bush Official. Um, on Instagram for um, the latest and most information on what's going on. And also FamNado will be getting um, an IG page too. So that's F-A-M-N-A-D-O, kind of like family and tornado put together. (laughs) Awesome. Again, Bettina, thank you so much for your time. It's great to speak with you, and it's great that you've got so much uh, awesome stuff happening. Hopefully we can speak again sometime. I appreciate it. Thanks, Dustin. I appreciate it too. Thanks for reaching out. Take care. And again, that was Bettina Bush. Behind a working mother radio, her show Motherhood Corner. And again, uh, she's got a new channel on uh, the Roku channel called Fam NATO.